I've been going hard on the sedan lately, man. Trying to get it cleaned up, trying to turn it into that daily driver that I want, you know what I mean? While we still do have a whole lot left to do on this car, uh, I think it's time that we start focusing a little bit more attention towards the hatch because like I mentioned IFO's coming up in March. I don't know. I kind of want the hatch to be there and I already told you guys that it will be so This is a list of things that we need to get completed before we can have the car tuned basically got to get the exhaust built the intake Got to install the wide band Got to install our little overflow tank right here still. I want to get the car down and get an alignment uh, bleed the brakes because they're still kind of spongy and the hood and the hatch need pins and then after all that's done Take it down and get it tuned one of our steps that we still have left before we can get the car tuned is I want to put this little exhaust pipe on it uh, Really for nothing nothing more than just to get the exhaust fumes past the driver uh, a little bit further back on the chassis rather than just dumping at the header first thing we need to do is get this thing up in the air bro i want to get it up as high as i possibly can on my jack stands just so i have enough room to kind of maneuver around underneath the car God, that's scary. I want it shut, but, oh my God. All right, let's try it one more time. Is he gonna make it? Are we going to make it? No, 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 I don't trust it. I don't trust it, I don't trust it. Motherfucker. <laughs> well, I thought I made sure that I had enough room to shut that damn door because, yeah, it's, it's a little bit cold this morning in Arizona. Arizona likes to play with you, bro. It's like warm and then cold. Warm and cold. A lot of you guys are probably gonna laugh at this. Forecast for Phoenix. 44 degrees right now. It's 44 degrees. All right, it's not crazy cold, but you gotta remember, I live in Arizona, bro. Us warm blooded motherfuckers, it's 44 degrees, that's cold to us. We need this guy. And we need the flange and the gasket and bolts. I literally never use this thing. I'm gonna try to use it right now. I'll probably just get annoyed with it. So, I haven't looked at this yet, but what I'm hoping is that uh, just having a straight pipe with no bends, I mean, for such a short distance, is going to fit in here correctly. I don't see why it wouldn't. Beer. Yeah, something just like that, dude. That's, that's fucking perfect to me, bro. Hell yeah. And this is our flange and the gasket and everything that our header came with. So, let's slide this gasket on there. I'm just kind of test fitting this. I want to make sure, see how everything fits on there. Okay. So really, I mean, the thing will kind of do that. You know what I mean? So once we get it tight, like once we get it all welded together, if I need it just a little to the left or a little to the right, this will give us some play right here. So uh, that's definitely good to know. I'm interested, dude, I'm so interested to see what this car sounds like running without this. One more time. So the pipe's gonna sit there and just run straight up and then bow, we'll have We'll have that hanger right there and that hanger right there that we'll be able to attach it to. This is the exhaust that used to be on my car. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? It looks like shit. I mean, it did the job, had a little turn down. This stuck out like just past the, uh, the lower control arm in the rear and had a resonator on it other than that it's just a straight pipe but what i'm pulling this out for is i'm gonna rob these little pieces so we can use those as our hangers on our new little straight pipe
I should probably move those five gallons of E85 sitting here. <laughs> so I cleaned those hangers up, got all that surface rust off of them, and I kind of rounded the edges too, so I think it'll make it easier to, to put those rubber pieces in. You know how much of a pain in the ass they are sometimes, but... And I also cleaned the surfaces where we are going to be welding at, and this is Old Glory, <laughs> my Harbor Freight welder. It's a flux core. Uh, you can make them work and i'm sure that it will work for this just fine uh it's just the problem is whether or not i'm gonna be able to make it work just fine i've had some experience welding guys at work with a good welder um i have yet to be able to do anything halfway decent with this thing but i figured i will at least try and honestly worst case scenario if we have to um i'll just try to get it tacked up the way that I need it to be, and then take it down and have somebody else weld it. You know what I'm saying? We obviously don't want it falling off the damn car, bro. No. <clears throat> So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed, man. That thing is on there. That ain't going anywhere, bro. The weld, of course, is not the prettiest thing in the world, but you know what? It works. And if you're wondering what it looked like before I cleaned it up, don't worry about it, bro. What are you, an inspector? Jesus. Now, if you guys didn't see the previous video, I forget which one it was, but whenever we purchased all this piping, um, I actually got this at a mixture of places. One piece at AutoZone, and I got these two pieces at O'Reilly's, I believe. I got all this right here for about 20 bucks. I think it was $22 altogether. Um, and this is just three inch diameter. Each one of these are 18 inches, and they're actually stretched on the end so that you can just overlap it, which is really nice. But now with the most important part done, and what I thought was gonna be the most difficult part, uh, the flange is welded. So now all we have to do is just finish stacking these pipes. Sure, everything is lining up the way that I want it to with the turn down actually facing down to the ground. And then I think that we could get away with just doing uh, like four tack welds to actually hold this all together. This being it does overlap one another so much, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to put a beetle weld all the way around each one of these sections. Got the pipe all welded and now i'm trying to mock it up underneath here uh, i have my jack holding it up on this side and i put the bolts in over there on the flange just trying to figure out exactly where it is i'm going to need to weld these hangers and i did find two of the rubber pieces on a couple of the multiple vehicles i have out back so currently just trying to get it centered and as you can tell it needs to go a little bit to the left and turn a little bit clockwise turn it just a hair and come this way still need to turn it clockwise just a little bit just a little bit that should be good ah fucking around my ear jesus All right, so this thing is basically done. There's just one thing left that we gotta do. 
I grabbed this can of, I think this is gonna be like a matte black. That's what the cap shows anyway, but I just wanna paint it, make it look a little bit nicer. This is 1200 degree Fahrenheit uh, barbecue and stove paint. And that is the reason why I went over the entire thing with 80 grit and sanded it, just so that hopefully we don't have any problems with the paint flaking off. Of course it's not gonna last forever, but. <laughs> Damn, dude, this shit ain't no joke. That is definitely flat black. Anyhow, there it is, man. That's the finished piece. That is, <laughs> that is the entire exhaust system for the Khaki Civic. Well, I mean, minus the header. I think it came out pretty dope, bro, but now I'm excited to actually get it installed on the car, and I wanna start it up and see if it makes any kind of difference to the tone of the exhaust. Um, I, I doubt it's gonna make much of a difference, but it will eliminate that damn. There it is, all finished up, guys. I think it came out pretty damn sick. Um, I may try to find two more bolts so I could, or two more nuts, so I could double nut these so they don't vibrate off. But other than that, I mean, it's all complete, bro. All the way back here to the turn down, and it's got two hangers on it. Nice and centered. Dude, I'm stoked. I think it came out pretty sick. You know what we still gotta do? Start this motherfucker. <laughs> Definitely sounds different. Doesn't sound any quieter, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyhow, that's gonna do it for today's video, but we are gonna be continuing on the hatch until we have this entire list done. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.